Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video with me. I'm Coach Sierra, the Research and Assessment Specialist with Academic Coaching for World Changers. Today, we're going to talk about good old Dr. Donald Meckenbaum. Do you know who that is? I hope so. If you don't, well, stay tuned. You'll learn. Dr. Meckenbaum has to do with cognitive and behavioral counseling and stress inoculation. So those are the focus terms of today for our notes. As always, if you have any questions about me as a coach, about booking sessions, you can email me at Sierra Turner, ACFWC at gmail.com or email our staff email at drpam2020 at gmail.com. Both of them will give you quick and prompt responses. Now let's dive into the content. So what are cognitive and behavioral theories in the first place? In the first place, excuse me. The leading proponents of cognitive and behavioral counseling include Joseph Wolpe, Donald Meckenbaum, Aaron Beck, and Albert Bandura, Albert Ellis and his rational emotive behavioral therapy, and Arnold Lazarus with multimodal, the basic ID, are also terms that we see coming up when we think of cognitive and behavioral theories. If you do not know these people, you should know these people. Make sure you study these people. The stimulus and response or the stimulus and organism response paradigms are at the base of these theories. The belief is that behavior is learned and consequently can be unlearned and therefore relearned. The goals of these counseling approaches are to identify antecedents of the behavior and the nature of the reinforcements maintaining that behavior. The counselor then helps create learning conditions and may engage in direct intervention. All right, so who is Dr. Donald Meckenbaum and what is stress inoculation? Meckenbaum spoke of the cognitive behavioral modification. This is a shift from the self-defeating thoughts to coping ones. He introduces the concept of stress inoculation, which is the practice or practicing positive or reinforcing self statements. So think of like stress inoculation as inoculating yourself with positive or reinforcing self-statements. He argued that just as people can be inoculated against a flu virus, they can also be inoculated against stress and become stress resistant through practicing positive and reinforcing self-statements. So here is an example test question I want you to pause and see. There are many effective counseling techniques used by counselors who practice from a behavioral perspective. Two of these are systematic desensitization and stress inoculation. Who are the theorists most closely associated with these techniques? From this question and from this video so far, you know that stress inoculation is Dr. Donald Meckenbaum. So which two answers can we automatically knock out? B and C. From this alone, we can knock out B and C. That leaves A and D remaining. If you do not know who these people are in these answer choices, study those people, all right? Anyone know the answer? Pausing. The right answer is A, Joseph Wuppe, which is systematic desensitization and stress inoculation is Dr. Donald Meckenbaum. If you do not know systematic desensitization, you need to know that term and make sure you study that term, all right? Okay, so what is stress inoculation? Let's recap. This type of therapeutic approach can help you develop skills to cope with stress and fear. It can also help you anticipate and manage an overactive fight flight or freeze response to perceived stressors. Stress inoculation training is typically a short-term intervention but can provide transferable lifetime skills. Stress inoculation training can be effective when preparing individuals to deal with stressors because it helps them change how they think about these events, thus affecting how they emotionally and physically respond. All right. Oh, give me just one moment. There we go. So this is the end of our video. This is a short. If you have any questions about stress inoculation, 
Dr. Donald Meckenbaum or any of the other theorists or terms that I kind of gave you a little bit of exposure to throughout this video, you can email me at sierraturneracfwc at gmail.com. We can talk about this in our individual session. You can also email drpam2020 at gmail.com. Either of those emails will give you a quick and prompt response, all right? Thank you so much for joining this video. Have a great day, everyone.